Do you know what's really in your bread? Today we dive into the world of whole grains versus refined grains. Bread is not just a staple food for many, its nutritional value can greatly influence our health and well-being. The difference mainly lies in whether the bread is made from whole grains or refined grains. Each type of grain brings a different set of nutrients to the table. In this special video, we will explore these crucial differences in detail. We start by understanding the basic differences between whole and refined grains. Whole grains contain all essential parts of the seed, the bran, germ, and endosperm. This means they preserve most of their nutritional value, including fiber, vitamins, and minerals. On the other hand, refined grains have been processed to remove the bran and germ, leading to a loss of significant nutritional content. We'll also dive into how these nutritional differences can impact our health. For instance, whole grains can help in weight, reducing the risk of heart disease, and maintaining steady blood sugar levels. Through interviews with nutrition experts and interactive diagrams, we will illustrate these benefits clearly. To provide you with a holistic understanding, we will also feature case studies and testimonials from individuals who have switched between these grain types. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries hidden in your everyday bread. First, let's define what whole grains are. A whole grain includes all three key parts of the grain kernel, the bran, germ, and endosperm. Each part holds its own unique and essential nutrients that contribute to the health benefits of whole grains. The bran, the grain's outer skin, is not just a protective layer, it is loaded with fiber, antioxidants, and B vitamins, vital for digestive health and chronic disease prevention. Moving inward, the germ is the grain's heart, rich in healthy fats, vitamin E, and antioxidants, capable of sprouting into a new plant. Then there's the endosperm, the bulk of the kernel providing essential energy through carbohydrates and proteins. Whole grains extend far beyond wheat and rice. Consider barley with its heart-healthy benefits. Millet, a staple in many cultures for centuries. Oatmeal, excellent for heart health and lowering cholesterol. And quinoa, not technically a grain but a pseudo-cereal praised for its complete protein profile and versatility. Including a variety of whole grains in your diet is crucial. They're known to reduce the risk of chronic illnesses such as heart disease and diabetes, and they play a role in cancer prevention. Their rich fiber content also aids in weight management by enhancing satiety which can prevent overeating. To make the most out of whole grains, integrate them into meals as replacements for refined grains, which lack many beneficial nutrients due to the removal of the bran and germ during processing. Clearly, whole grains pack a nutritional punch. But how do they compare to refined grains? Now shift our focus to refined grains. When we talk about refined grains, we're referring to grains that have undergone a milling process which removes their bran and germ, leaving behind mainly the endosperm, composed mostly of carbohydrates. Some common examples of refined grains are bread, white rice, and many types of pasta. These items are staples in many diets worldwide. However, the process of refining these grains often goes undiscussed. Through milling, Refined grains acquire a fine texture and an extended shelf life, but this comes at a significant nutritional cost. One of the major losses during the refining process is fiber. Fiber is vital for maintaining digestive health and contributes to a feeling of fullness which can help control weight. Its absence means that the body processes these grains quickly, often resulting in rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. In addition to fiber, refining also removes essential nutrients like B vitamins, iron, and numerous antioxidants critical for health. Some refined grains are enriched after processing, which involves adding back certain vitamins and iron. However, this enrichment only partially replaces the natural variety and the full spectrum of nutrients originally present in the grain. These missing nutrients and the low fiber content could contribute to long-term health issues. For instance, diets high in processed foods and low in naturally occurring nutrients may increase the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and diabetes. Despite their clean and appealing look, refined grains are devoid of many benefits that are present in their whole grain counterparts. Let's visually compare these two. Seeing is believing. Let's compare whole grains and refined grains visually and in terms of health impacts. When you look at whole grains, you're seeing the kernel in its natural state. It includes the bran, germ, and endosperm. This composition lends whole grains a richer, darker color and a coarser, more textured feel. In contrast, refined grains have been processed to remove the bran and germ, leaving behind only the endosperm. 
This processing results in refined grains having a lighter color and a finer texture which might be appealing to some. However, the visual appeal doesn't tell the whole story. When we dive deeper into the health impacts, the differences are stark. Whole grains are nutrient-dense, packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals crucial for good health. Research has consistently demonstrated that a diet rich in whole grains can significantly reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. This benefit is largely attributed to their low glycemic index which aids in maintaining stable blood sugar levels. Conversely, refined grains tell a different health story. The removal of the bran and germ during processing strips away much of the natural nutrients including fiber. The primarily starchy carbohydrates left in refined grains have a high glycemic index, leading to quicker rises in blood sugar levels. Such spikes can contribute to the development of chronic health issues. Regular consumption refined grains has been associated with increased risks of heart disease, obesity and type 2 diabetes, conditions often linked to high sugar diets. Considering the long-term effects, a diet abundant in whole grains can lead to a longer, healthier life. Meanwhile, a diet dominated by grains may result in health complications and a dependence on medications to manage conditions that could be prevented through diet. The visual and health contrast between whole and refined grains are significant, emphasizing the importance of choosing wisely for long-term health benefits. The differences are stark, not just in looks but in how they affect our health. Have you noticed changes in your health or taste preferences when switching between whole and refined grains? It's fascinating how something as simple as the type of grain in our bread or cereal can influence our body and the way we feel. Delving deeper into the world of whole grains versus refined grains opens up a lot discussion about how food affects us beyond just taste. Whole grains, complete with their bran, germ, and endosperm, provide a richer nutrient profile including fiber, vitamins, and minerals that our bodies crave. These components are essential for maintaining high energy levels and optimal digestion. On the flip side, refined grains, although often enriched with vitamins, lack the natural complexity of their whole counterparts. They are stripped of the bran and germ during processing, reducing their nutritional value. However, they remain popular due to their smoother texture and longer shelf life. Many have shared that incorporating whole grains into their diet led to improved digestion, more stable energy levels throughout the day, and even a newfound appreciation for the natural flavors of food. For some, switching to whole grains has contributed to better weight management and reduced feelings of bloating. Others might note that refined grains are a staple in their diet due to convenience or preference for texture and taste. These grains are often found in quick and easy meals, making them a favorite for busy lifestyles. Yet the trade-off in nutritional quality is something to consider. This is where your experiences become crucial. How have whole grains or refined grains impacted your health, your energy levels, or even your culinary delights? Perhaps you've noticed differences in how you feel after eating a hearty whole grain sandwich versus a white bread panini. Or maybe you found creative ways to integrate more whole grains into meals that traditionally rely on refined grains. Your journey, your experiments with these grains could be the key that helps someone else make a meaningful dietary shift. Drop your stories in the comments below. Your insights are invaluable. Thank you for exploring the world of grains with us today. Today's journey took us deep into the realm of whole and refined grains. Each grain type offers unique benefits and drawbacks. Whole grains preserve all parts the grain kernel, the bran, germ, and endosperm. This completeness provides essential nutrients such as fiber, which aids digestion, and other vital minerals and vitamins that promote heart health and can help maintain a healthy weight. Conversely, refined grains undergo a process where the bran and germ are removed. This not only depletes them of natural nutrients but also impacts how our bodies process these grains. The absence of fiber leads to absorption of sugar, potentially spiking blood sugar levels, and diminishing the grain's nutritional value. To counteract this, some refined grains are enriched with added vitamins, though they still fall short of their whole. By understanding these key differences, we empower ourselves to make healthier dietary choices that contribute directly to our long-term health and wellness. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to Facts Academy 0122. Thank you for watching.